I will present Route Planning and Task Management solution that you can use on our TrustTrack fleet management platform. This solution is dedicated for the most effective route selection, task assignment to the driver, as well as the driver and task state monitoring. To use our solution, you can simply go to the left-hand side icons, click on the Routing and Tasking, and you are instantly directed to the module. In the Solution Overview window, you can see the map and the list with all existing tasks. The display can be adjusted. You can divide your screen into two parts. One half is the map and the second one, the task overview. Here is an option of the arrows. So, if you need to see the map information, you can adjust the screen accordingly by clicking the appropriate arrow. You can zoom the map in or out. See the vehicle information in the same way as you see it in the fleet status overview. In case you need to see the task information, you can do this as well. To improve user experience and save the working time of the dispatcher, once the screen size is adjusted, you will see the same parameters the next time you visit the solution. Thus, there is no need to adjust the screen size each time you want to use the solution. If you want to see the task-related information in the Task Overview window, you can do so. You can see details such as Task Name the driver assigned, name and surname. Driver status, if this is applicable, for example, driver resting or driving times. Vehicle information, whether the vehicle is already assigned. If the vehicle is not assigned, you will see the minus sign mark accordingly. Current location of the vehicle assigned, preset arrival time for the task, and a mark whether the task is on time or not. Overall, task status in progress, completed, new, or canceled. Here, we also have an option of filtering. For example, if you want to filter overall task status, you can do so. In here, you can choose tasks in progress and filter them out in the list. You'll be able to see related information to these specific tasks on the list. You can do the same with completed or other statuses of the task. Also, we have an option to order the information alphabetically for most of the columns in the overview. For example, you can sort out by vehicle, task information, and so on. The sorting and ordering logic is similar to other modules on TrustTrack, so the user experience is similar with an easy-to-use flow. Important to mention that you have options for task management, such as task summary overview, task editing, and deleting. So, clicking here, we can see task summary information, but this we will cover later on. When you want to create a totally new task, you need to click on the Create Task icon, and you are redirected into the task creation. You have two options to start the task creation. First, adding waypoints and destinations by simply clicking the mouse and selecting the point on the map. The second option, adding waypoints information into the inputs field. In the task creation window, you can choose the task creation per different vehicle types. You can create the task for a light commercial vehicle. In such a case, the system will use Google Maps for route calculation and navigation. Another option is to create the task for a heavy commercial vehicle, where route calculation and navigation will be based on here maps with HCV attributes. Let's firstly create a task for a light commercial vehicle. For example, we need to create a task with a pickup point starting in Hamburg. The second waypoint and destination being Milan. You can choose which route of the three suggested you want to select. By clicking the mouse on the route, you can see the estimated distance for each trip, length of trip, and the estimated time of arrival. Also, there is the drag and drop function in case you would like to make some route adjustments according to your needs. 
After the route is adjusted, the information related to the trip details can be rechecked for precise planning. In case you want to set specific settings, for example, to avoid ferries, highways, or tolls, you also have this option here. For instance, in case you want to avoid the paid road, you need to click on the tolls and the routes will be readjusted accordingly to avoid paid roads if there are any. After you already selected the route, you must enter the task name. The task name here will be Hamburg to Milan. You can either assign the vehicles in here or do it later on. You can add notes for easier task management. And finally, you can set the preferred arrival to the destination time. For example, we will set the arrival time for the 8th of June. Also, we will choose the specific arrival hour, 12 o'clock. If there is a need, you can still add additional waypoints, but it must be noted that the set arrival time is applicable for the last waypoint. Thus, even if you add more waypoints, Prague in this case, the final arrival time will remain the same as set before. This allows you to complete the task, for example, make the delivery as planned and on time, even though the additional waypoints were added. So, in case you need to create a task for a heavy commercial vehicle, you need to choose this type of vehicle. Then, you go to Settings and indicate the specific attributes of your vehicle. In the part of the main settings, you can indicate the precise length, width, height, weight, and other parameters of your heavy vehicle. Also, you have the possibility to choose routing parameters. For example, you can choose the routing type to be either the fastest route or a balanced route. Balanced means that the routing engine will balance travel time and distance in the best possible way. You have the option to either enable or disable the inclusion of the real-time traffic data while calculating the route. Also, you can mark whether you need to avoid tolls, tunnels, ferries, and sudden difficult turns. What's more, you have this stick to the route option. This option means that the create route is locked and the driver will be guided precisely according to it. The only possible option when the driver can deviate from such a route is when the road is closed. In such a case, the driver will be automatically redirected by his navigation maintaining the routing parameters set per this specific vehicle previously. So, you can set specific parameters for the vehicle and save them. In the ADR setting part, you can indicate what dangerous goods will be transported. If you are planning to carry explosive, radioactive, or any other hazardous materials, you can specify such information here. The route will then be calculated, taking into consideration the marks you made. In the ADR part, you also have tunnel categories that you can choose. Tunnel categories specify which dangerous goods are not allowed to enter the regulated tunnel. The categories range from B to E, with B being the most restrictive. So, as per your indication, the route will be calculated to avoid selected tunnel categories. Finally, after you indicated all of the settings according to your needs, do not forget to save them. In case you need to create a route for the heavy commercial vehicle, you can do so. For example, the route can be created the same as for Hamburg to Milan route demonstrated previously. All parameters you set before will be taken into consideration. Once the task is created, you simply need to click on Save, and you are quickly redirected into the Task Overview window. If we want to see our newly created task, we can simply filter it out. Once we filter, we see our Hamburg Milan task in the list. Also, we have an option to search the task on the list by entering the task name in the Search Tasks field. You can assign the vehicle as suggested from the drop-down menu now, or you can do that later on. 
Also, here you can see driver identification details and his status. For example, is he driving or resting? The task is not started yet. In case you know that a driver already began the trip from his first waypoint and simply forgot to start the task on his driver app, the dispatcher can also start the task from the module here. Tasks can be started by clicking on the task summary. In the task summary, we see that the task is new. We see the preset arrival time, task title, vehicle details, driver credentials, and notes information. Also, we see waypoint information. Not colored waypoint circle demonstrate that the waypoint is not completed yet. We can start this task. After confirmation, the status of the task now is in progress. We can also complete the first waypoint. After completion, we see that the waypoint circle is colored green. Thus, this simplifies the overall tracking of task status. In case the task is still in progress and not completed, you have the possibility to add additional waypoints. After adjustments are made, the task and route information is updated real-time on the driver application. So, the driver is always aware of the adjustments made. If you want to complete the task, you can do so. Once the task is completed, no additional adjustments are possible. We see here that all waypoints are marked in green and that the task status is now marked as completed. The task now is gone from the new tasks list. If you wish to double check it, even though it is already completed, you still can do that by searching for it. After the search is completed, we see that our Hamburg to Milan task with arrival time set for the 8th of June is for sure completed. Finally, if we need to delete some tasks from the list, we can mark them and delete them. Just note that tasks in progress cannot be deleted. Only completed tasks are allowed to be removed from the list. Thank you for watching.